So what I wanna do now is allow my email to be added through Ajax, and that's using JavaScript so the page doesn't have to reload every single time. So if I did abc at gmail.com, hit enter, I don't want it to have to reload the entire page every single time it happens. So we're gonna do this by using the Django REST framework. So Django REST framework allows us to create a RESTful API, uh, but really we're just gonna be using it for a serializer and a view. So let's go ahead and jump into our terminal and we'll do pip install Django REST framework. It's all one word. And then what we're gonna do is add in the REST framework into our installed apps. So let's jump in to our project here in a base. Above our internal apps, I'll add in REST framework. Save that. And we'll go back. We see that we have some URL patterns that I can put in. I'm not gonna do that. Um, instead, what I'm gonna do is just jump in to serializing. So serializing is actually very similar to forms. Let's go back into our newsletter and I'm actually gonna make a new module in here called API. And inside of that module, I'm gonna add an init file, of course. And then I'm gonna add two things, which is serializers.py. And then I'm gonna add views.py. Now you don't have to put your API stuff inside of an API module. You could put it inside the app itself, but I like keeping those things separate so I know exactly where and which thing is doing what. Um, that's really the big thing here. So if I click on serialization, I can see that there is some different sort of like examples that I can work off of as far as getting the serialization working. Um, but I'm not actually gonna go off of the examples that they have. Instead, I'm just gonna go ahead and do it. And that's from rest underscore framework import serializers. And then I'm gonna do from newsletter dot models import join. I believe that's what we called it. Yep. Uh, so I imported that model and then I'll do class join serializer and it takes in serializers dot model serializer. This should look a lot like the form and then we do class meta model equals to join fields equals to, well, we just want the email field, that's it. Um, and then what I also wanna do is probably validate this stuff. So define validate email. And this is gonna work very similar to what we did with clean email. I'm gonna go ahead and copy a lot of this stuff and just bring it in here. Although email or validate email is just slightly different. So if you go into their validation, um, serializer validators, you can see that there is validators that you can write just like that, or we can actually write them directly on the serializer itself by searching validate and then the field name. Notice it actually passes the value this time versus we have to get the clean data. So we can just go value here and then this time email equals to value. And the same stuff is true with the exception instead of forms, it's serializers.validation error. And that is pretty much it. It's virtually the exact same thing as we see in the documentation here. So this validation error will also work with our views. So inside of our views, so we wanna go back into our API guide and we are gonna use our generic views and we're gonna be using the create API view. Much like our form or our view was our create view, um, for the home view, that's what handled that form itself, our actual view for creating our API serializer, we have to go ahead and use something called the create view. So I'm gonna go ahead and import from REST framework import generics, and then I'll do from dot serializers, import the join serializer. So we'll do class join API create view, and this is generics dot um, API create or create API view, excuse me, we should follow the convention. Change this from join API create view to join create API view. And we'll take a look at what needs to happen in here. If we look at the generic API view, we will have something called query set. So we wanna add in the model to. 
So we'll do from newsletter dot models import join. So we'll do query set equals to join dot objects dot all. This basically gives us our model, which is nice. And then we'll do serializer class equals to join serializer. Um, another that which is right there. Another thing we can do is permission classes, and I'm going to make it empty. And then I'll also say authentic authentication classes equals to empty as well. We want anyone to be able to make a uh, an actual URL or um, to send in their email uh, through here. So we don't actually have to worry about uh, the permissions or authentication in this case. So now that we've got this join create API view, let's go into our URLs and import it. So from pages.api.views import join create API view. I'm gonna go ahead and copy the home view itself, paste it underneath here and just do API join or rather email join. And this is gonna be the join create API view. And we'll just call it email dash join. There we go. So we now have that API view working. Let's go ahead and make sure it actually is working. We just did a ton of stuff there. Um, looks like we don't have a module named pages. Oops, it's not pages, it's newsletter. Hopefully you guys caught that. If you didn't, we did. So newsletter and we'll readjust the order of that. We refresh in there, looks like that's working okay. So let's go to API email slash join. Going to that actual URL and I did ABC at Gmail. Let's try that again. I hit post. Email already exists just like the other one. If I add in some random email, it actually creates it. It gives us a, a HTTP 201 create. Okay, so we've done the REST framework portion of it. I don't actually have to do anything else for REST framework to actually get the jQuery sort of stuff working. I have an endpoint now, which is... This is the API endpoint that I can actually send some data to and I'll be able to create these emails inside of the backend. So if you have any questions on what we did here, let us know. We have a lot more of the REST framework itself on the blog API project on our YouTube channel. So definitely check that out if you're more, if you're very into the Django REST framework. All right, so we'll see you in the next one.